Sometime in 2017-18, Alliance Homes did a presentation on 12, I believe it was, houses in this area, and they got less than a lukewarm response. So now they're trying again with a new council with more misleading information. Now, to say what the woman said last time, that they're going to be building these houses and making a loss, beggars belief. The gates are closed because they advised North Somerset Council that the retaining wall at the back was unsafe. That is false. There is nothing wrong with that wall. Never has been. They want to knock down people's garages for no other reason than for profit. The smacks off a don't care attitude and the responses given to those garage owners is less than helpful. Excess parking. Where do these people park? Channel View Road? Channel View Crescent or West Hill. And they're already full. If you drive there enough half a club, you can't park. <coughs> West Hill has double yellow lines which people ignore already. At the previous presentation, Martin Cruz said, well, the residents can park in uh, Channel, um, Channel View Road and Channel View Crescent. Yeah. Can't. Can't even drive up there. Is this another development of the area? And is it keeping in, is it keeping in with the area? Lack of privacy. The apartments proposed will be built at minimal size, so when you walk in there you think that's a nice place for my double bed, and the way you put your cupboards. Affordable housing. How much is affordable housing? And do not say commensurate with the area of Portishead, because it's one of the most expensive areas in North Somerset, and it's a cash cow for housing developers. Area. So that's my personal view as a resident of West Ward and a daily user of West Hill. Um, I think it's a disgrace. If this is approved, then basically we're just doing the same as the previous incumbents of overdevelopment of the town. Desecration of the village. Thank you.